so welcome to my tavern. Uh, this is a three-story structure. As you come in, you have the band playing, a few patrons in there. You go up the stairs. You have the dining area where the waitress is uh, serving all the people. Through this door is some uh, rooms for people to rent. Coming across to the other end, we have a private area with some nobles doing some high stakes gambling. So underneath the dining area, we have the bar, a few tables. Through this door, we have another uh, bunk area, a little bit on the cheaper ends. People rent a bunk. Then across the way, we have uh, the storage room. We have the chef hanging out here, some barrels. And most importantly, we have a staircase that leads down into the basement. So as you come down the staircase, you find another storage room, and through this door, you find the secret hangout of a local gang. And then through this door, you find their treasure room, which is guarded by two mimics. So nothing new with the construction of the basement. I used the low walls because well, I ran out of all the tall walls that I owned. Um, these are just the landings from the stair set. They're used to help support the top floor. Over here in the treasure room, this little wall here is basically just there to help support the top wall. Um, would make for some dynamic fighting when you get in there with the mimics. And then on this side, uh, this wall here helps support the floor. And this is just one of the top pieces of the stair landing, which is only in there to help support the stairs, which blocks off that hole. Without it, the stair would like teeter in there. Uh, works really well because it's right up to the level of the floor above. Because I'm using short walls, these things are not clipped in because you have to take them out when you stack them up. Not a big deal, but obviously tall walls be more better for this. Um, and then I also, all the figures and stuff have to either be laid down or taken out uh, when you stack it up because obviously they're taller than the walls are, so the floors would crush them. One of the disadvantages of this, but I have the short walls and I was able to use it to make a nice basement and it keeps the structure from being too tall, so I don't mind the disadvantages. So the second floor, I can just simply pick it up, stays together and drop it on top, make sure I line up, and does pretty good. Uh, things shift around a bit when you pick it up, obviously, but for the most part, everything stays relatively in the same position I had it. I used short walls at the front just to help uh, being able to see in, uh, and I used the tall walls at the back. Um, the landings underneath kind of help prevent it from sagging. It does obviously move a little bit, but as long as you're not really chunking down pieces on the thing, it shouldn't be a problem. Just like the main hall, the bunk room can just simply be picked up and dropped on top of the treasure room. Uh, the interior walls help support the room above. So this actually is all of the exterior tall walls you get in the expansion set. For the storage room, I had run out of the tall wood walls, so I used the walls that I had in the stone expansion set to make it, which kind of fits. I like having a stone storage room. It simply lines up on top of the room above. The two walls fit right on top of each other which helps support it um, got some and then the staircase lines up right in the middle one of the advantages of using the short walls for my basement is that I got to use the spiral staircase which is designed for that height otherwise I would have to have used some landings and stacks up which would have been a little bit more complicated I don't know if they're planning to come out in the future with taller stairs for the tall walls, but in this case it worked out really well. The upstairs dining room is made with short walls, uh, one for visibility and two because I ran out um, when I built the lower level. 
the floor is using the uh, four foot or the four square solid piece, so there's no connections here. Uh, that makes it super strong and lets it span that distance without needing supports underneath. Uh, it does limit you to not being able to put really divider walls in here. Um, although if you wanted to, you could have made this with individual squares. You probably just would have to have some kind of support right in the middle. Um, probably one of the wooden landings would have worked well if you stacked them up. And it simply sits on top right there. Nothing special about the guest rooms. It is made up of individual tiles, short walls, divider walls, um, and it's simply just some rooms that can be searched or maybe you can have an encounter uh, inside of. And it obviously just sits on top of the bunk room like so. So this is the uh, high stakes gambling room. Uh, it's made up of individual tiles, short walls that support it. It sits on top of the uh, storage room, which has a wall in the middle to help support it. This room could have been easily divided up uh, using interior walls if I chose to. And it just simply picks up and sits right on top. So a few tips on how I put all this together. Um, I used easy clips in this direction. And then I used uh, the original clips in the long direction. And that really seemed to help prevent it from bending like this, since that's the direction that uh, it's being supported. And if you've seen my video, I got tips on how to remove those original clips without any hassle. So my final thoughts is I am actually quite surprised how much I like these tall walls. I originally uh, thought I wouldn't use them much because I like having the short walls for visibility, but all I can say is building structures like this is really neat. I mean, you look at this and I just think, wow, that looks cool. Uh, and I liked it so much that I went ahead and bought another case. Because as I said, I ran out of walls and I actually ended up using every single floor tile that I had uh, for four different uh, cases to build this structure. So I decided to go ahead and get uh, the full expansion or the, the full kit that comes with floor tiles and wall tiles because I felt like I could go ahead and get some more. And the nice thing is that these town and village ones come with the 2x4 and 4x4 uh, tiles, which the original short wall version did not. Uh, if anybody's interested, I could do a comparison between the expansion and the full kit, the one that comes with walls and one that doesn't. You would think that it just came with floor tiles was the only difference, but there actually was some minor differences in the wall counts. Um, so I liked it that much that I decided to go ahead and build another one. As for the stone tall walls, uh, I like the look of them. Um, I might get one more in the future, I don't know, but until they come out with something that makes it uh, where you can build castles, I don't really like having the tall ones. I, I prefer my dungeons to be short walls. If I'm having a sprawling dungeon, I want everybody to be able to see without having to stand up and look down. Um, but if I had some pieces that had, you know, walkways with crenellations or uh, little you know, arrow slits in them, something like that, where you can make it look more like a castle, then I'd probably get suckered into buying more. Uh, one thing I would like to see in the future is if they had some kind of railing piece that was just like this that just snapped on and then you had a rail that would be uh, a nice addition but overall i really like the tall walls because of building structures like this and here i will leave you with a few still shots to get a better look at the structure